everyone, this is Lucy. Welcome to an episode of Nora's Kitchen. Today in Nora's Kitchen we are making cranberry relish. Cranberry relish is a great buff in Fallout 76. It increases your XP by 10% and if you stack it with well rested you'll find that you level up much quicker which at the moment is, well pretty much at any moment, it's always a good thing. So what do we need to make cranberry relish? Right, we need boiled water, cranberries, gourds, sugar and wood to cook it with. As you can see I already have some boiled water but I will show you the best way to get water. Cranberries, gourds and sugar. Now somebody told me that the best place to get cranberries was Max Farm. So we'll go down and have a look. Max Farm is in quite a high level area. It's down in the cranberry bog. You can see there are lots of cranberries here. That kind of makes sense. So we'll head down there. With our gun out. <laughs> and crouched. just in case there are any enemies when we arrive. Um, right, we've arrived at Max Farm. So we'll have a quick look around. Ooh, what is, what is a blood rage mire look? Doesn't sound very friendly. Um, That wasn't too difficult. I can hear clickety clack. Means there's more Maya looks about. If you are out collecting food in the wasteland, there are some perks that will help. If you're collecting meat, the card Butcher's Bounty will give you a chance to collect double the amount of meat. If you're collecting plants, Green Thumb, which is also under Perception, will allow you to collect two of every plant you pick. It looks quite quiet. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, help. <laughs> oh no, help. <laughs> um, maybe this, this wasn't such a good idea. Dear. Ow. Where is he? Oh no. This this is a Mylet King. They are quite dangerous. They have a ranged sonic ouch attack. Um Ow. And they also run very quickly, so it's quite difficult to get away from them. Mm. Oh. Um, this 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 wasn't quite how I how I planned this. Um, just gonna check and see if there's. Oh right, no, that's it. No, no, I've had it. Maybe, maybe this, maybe this, um, 
wasn't such a good idea. Um, I think we'll go back to the kitchen and and um, and and have look at maybe another plan. Um, and if you didn't know what that was, that that was a Myla Queen. Um, and they are quite dangerous. They spit acid, and obviously they're they're very large. Now, as we're in the bog, I will show you that there are cranberries all over the bog, um, but they're diseased. The reason we came to Max Farm is there are a lot of regular cranberries that aren't diseased, which you need to make cranberry relish. So unfortunately that, that didn't really go quite how I planned it. Um, if you're a high level character and you like um, killing Milet kings and queens and getting lots of XP then, then Max Farm is probably the place for you. I believe you can get upwards of 40 um, regular cranberries there. Um, but for low level players or even middle level players that, that don't like a lot living dangerously, maybe Max Farm is not the best place. Excuse me while I go freshen myself up. The other place and the much easier place to get cranberries is actually in the forest. You can, if you have green thumb on, get 20 cranberries from Aaron Holt Homestead up here in the north of the map. So we'll we'll hop up there and, and have a look. There are still a few enemies at Aaron Holt. If you go through the farmyard there tend to be a few low level dogs which shouldn't prove much of a hindrance to um, even even low level players. As long as you're careful. If you go through the farmyard and down into the field, you will find cranberries. There are normally a couple of enemies in the field, either, in my experience, bugs or occasionally ghouls. If you do get the blood bugs, pick up the proboscis because you can scrap them for acid. Although apparently I can't pick that one up yet. There are 10 cranberries in this field. I normally start here and go up and down. Because I have green thumb on, I, got, I get two for every bush that I pick from. Don't miss the two at the bottom of the field, just below the brow. Cranberries do go off quite quickly, but if you use the card Good With Salt, which is under luck, they will keep for significantly longer. Or if you have a fridge, Fridges are available from the Atom store. You can keep your cranberries in the fridge while we look at the next ingredient. And there we go, I have 20 cranberries. The next ingredient that I'm going to get as we're up in as we're in the forest is snaptail reed. And the reason is is you only need snaptail reed to make sugar. And I don't actually have much sugar in stock. You can find it around the world in various kitchens but I often find that it's easier to make it myself. I'm going to travel to Flatwoods to the Vault Ag Tech Agricultural Research Centre which is quite a mouthful. Evacuate civilians and take down those supervisors. 
Once they're dealt with, you'll have to reboot the server. Again. Unfortunately, when you get here, you will find that um, the robots are hostile, but because it's a very low level area, you can mostly avoid them if you want to. It takes two snaptail reed to make one sugar, but if you have a green thumb on, every snaptail you pick will give you two. Oh, I'm all out of water. How can you be out of water when you're actually next to a river? That's ridiculous, honestly. Some people. I play with Aqua Girl on. The perk gives you um, rad resistance to water. If you don't have that, then by all means run along the bank. Oh, I'm sore all over. Building this place up is hard work. You don't actually look like you're do doing a lot of work to me, mate. I saw that Here's beer bottle. If you carry on the river all the way up to Gorge Junkyard, you can get, and beyond actually, if you follow the river up towards Morgantown, you can pick, I think it's about, I think I've got 60 once in one go. So that's 60 sugar, um, if you have the stay up storage capacity to store 60 sugar. It doesn't go off. Hmm. You can keep it indefinitely. Unfortunately, you will find that some of them are empty. Even if you're on a private server, you can never, it's very rare to get all of them. If you do have any Snaptail Reed left over, it's also a component in Disease Cure. And I quite often do this Don't run. A whole nother hour for that food it's very busy eat. down here this morning. Um, you need um, the red fire cap mushrooms and blood leaf, which grows in the river here. I think that will do us for now. Um, we're not far. F well, actually, we yeah, we're not far from the house, so. Next thing on our shopping list is gourds. Gourds are quite rare. But there are a few places you can get them. The place to get most gourds, the place with the most gourds, is actually all the way over in the mire. my tents over there and that is actually a coincidence from doing um, an event over there yesterday it's Rally Clay's bunker I will give you an alternative location in a moment because if you're a low-level player you might not have got this far across the map one of the ways you can circumvent that is if you're on a public server is to check for player camps because quite often you will find player camps in this area and you can sneak up to up to the bunker it is starting to get dark there aren't a lot of enemies in this particular area by rally clays there are quite high level robots at Dire Chemical and there are level 68 or high level super mutants at Crevasse Dam but if you're careful you can sneak down here the only problem you might find if you come here on a low level player is that you might not be able to get in There it is. 
I was, bit, I was once killed here by a, ooh, a bug, and now I've got cave cricket, so sometimes it is just the luck of the draw. I'm going to quickly run in, if I can. Cave crickets are annoyingly tough. I don't want to turn my back on them. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, I'm still in danger. Oh, there's another one. Okay. I believe you get the password for Rally Clay's bunker from Abby's bunker. So you may have to start that quest to be able to get in here. But if you've done all of the quests, Rose's quests and Abby's quests, you shouldn't have a problem getting in here. There are a few low level rad roaches in here, but nothing too difficult to deal with. If you go straight ahead into this corridor and then through here you will find an indoor hydroponic area and you will find quite a few gourds here. I'll put my light on. If you pick from a planter, even with um, green thumb on, you only actually get one. You do not get two gourds, you just get the one. I think you can get five from here. And if you have, if you have gourds, you can actually grow them at your camp. Crops do take quite a bit of um, build budget. This is quite a good area for looting as well. There's lots of loot in this place. So we'll... Oh, I missed a rad roach. We will head back to the kitchen now. So we're all ready to cook. We have all the ingredients to make our cranberry relish now. But I did promise you that if you were a low level player, I'd show you where you could get a gourd that wasn't in the mire. If you go down to the Hornwright Summer Villa, near New Gad, you will find one gourd in the greenhouse behind the villa. And if you fast travel to this location, it will actually bring you in at the back. There are a few enemies here. But they're mainly low level Chinese robots. Oh, actually, I have scorched. There we go. There's always one, isn't there? I hate these things. Because it's a planter you will only get one but if you quickly run back to your camp and plant it wait 10 minutes and you can pick it with green thumb on and get two you then plant those two there is one other location I know of to get gourds and one gourd and that is at the cottages at the White Springs if you come in the entrance here and follow these cottages down, the second two-storey building, which is about here, I think, 
has one gourd on the dining room table as you go in on the left. However, I have tried that on my level 30 and because the ghouls are very tough, um, I haven't found that particularly effective unless you, you want to die a lot. The last ingredient we need is boiled water. Now, if you have a water pump, they are very, very slow. The quickest way to get water in the game is to go to a dirty water source, not a toxic water source, but a dirty water source, like a river or a pond, and collect water. It's much quicker. You need two dirty water to get one boiled water. And I always seem to get an odd number, even if I count. <laughs> So we now have all the ingredients to make our cranberry relish. If you have it, now is a good time to put on the perk card super duper because it will randomly fire and create double the amount of anything that you're making. Like that. <laughs> Although I don't particularly want extra boiled water, but... We need to make our sugar. I was going. And now as you can see, cranberry relish is available. If you push in the left stick, it will show you what you have available to make so you don't have to scroll through a hundred recipes I do tend to find that if you break away from the cooker after you've made, I normally make three or four, super duper will fire and you get an extra one. As you could see, I didn't actually have enough gourds from collecting them, but because I've grown them, I have more in the garden. give up today. What are you doing up there Gramps? Honestly. It's been a really bad day. So here you have it. The rather unassuming looking cranberry relish. After much trial, tribulation and near death experience, you too can enjoy an extra 10% XP. Thank you for watching. <laughs>